and this way they're very easy to look at. ANOVA, or Analysis of Variance. ANOVA is a broad class of technique for identifying and measuring the various sources of variation within a collection of data. This description has been given to us by Kashigan, who is the author of several innovative books in mathematics and psychology, including that of multivariate statistical analysis. When we have only two samples, we can use the t-test to compare the means of the samples, but it might become unreliable in case of more than two samples. If we only compare two means, then the t-test will give the same results as the ANOVA test. ANOVA is used to compare the means of more than two samples. Let me just explain to you using an example. Let's say we want to be able to test the effect of five different exercises. So we recruit 20 men and assign one type of exercise to four men in groups of five. Their weights are recorded after every week. We may find out whether the effect of these exercises on them is significantly different or not. And this may be done by comparing the weights of the five groups of four men each. This is an example of one-way ANOVA. It has been termed as one-way ANOVA as there is only one category whose effect has been studied and balanced as the number of men has been assigned on each exercise. Thus, the basic idea is to test whether the samples are all alike or not. The t-test can only be used to test differences between two means. When there are more than two means, it is possible to compare each mean with each other using the t-test, but conducting such multiple t-tests can lead to severe complications, and in such circumstances, we need to use ANOVA. There are certain assumptions used in ANOVA. The first one is normality which basically means data is assumed to be normally distributed. Second one being independence of cases. Third is equality of variances, which is also known as homocidacity or homogeneity, where variances of all errors are equal to each other. ANOVA is also closely related to regression analysis but we can think of analysis of variance technique as testing hypothesis about the presence of relationship between predictor and criteria variables. Regression analysis, on the other hand, can be described as defining the nature of those relationships. And R-squared can be defined as measuring the strength of the relationships. So now let's look at an example to better understand ANOVA. Let's say this is the data set which we have. It contains scores of students in three major subjects, math, economics, and politics. And we would like to explore the relationship between average score and major of each student. So this is the column which is giving us average score, and this is the column which is giving us major, and this is the column which is giving us the ID of the student. So I need only these three columns, and each column should be segregated as per major. So in order to get to that, I have created a pivot table so that we can do our ANOVA analysis. All right, so this is the student ID column. This, this is the economics score column, and this is the math score column, and this is the political science average score column. So once I've done this, now I'm going to go to the Data tab, and under Analysis, I'm going to click on Data Analysis. Once I do that, a dialog box will open, and I'm going to click on ANOVA Single Factor, and I'm going to click OK. Once I do that, another dialog box would open. In that, there's something called Input Range. I'm going to click on this red arrow button, to select my input range and I'm simply going to select the three column and the corresponding data. 
and I'm going to click on this red arrow again. I know that my data is grouped by columns, so I'm going to let it be. I know that the first row of my table consists of headers, so I'm going to let it be. And I want the data to appear in a new worksheet, so I'm going to click on that radio button. Once that's done, I'm going to click OK. Look, here we have our ANOVA table. And p-value is what we're looking for, which is in cell F12. This is the value that answers our question. We wanted to know whether there is some sort of relationship between majors and grades. ANOVA assumes by default that there is no relationship. As a general rule, a p-value of greater than 0 0.05 means ANOVA's assumption may be right. In this case, our p-value is equivalent to 0.13, which is way greater than 0 0.05, which means there is no relationship between the variables. Had the p-value been lower than 0 0.05, we could have established the presence of relationship. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.